Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time when we left off we had just landed on the roof of Picus Communications in Montreal, so let's get back to that. Chapter 10, White Noise. Shocking evidence pulled from TYM servers revealed a more elaborate plan than expected. Seraph Industries' top research team didn't die six months ago. The attack was staged to cover up their kidnappings. Desperate to learn more, Jensen confronted TYM's president in her penthouse. And it's gone. Ha. Tell you what, I'll just reboot and finish reading it that way. Sometimes it just doesn't give me enough time. But Zhao tricked him and escaped into a panic room. Nevertheless, what little she said directed him to Picus Communications and the world's most famous newscaster. So here we go. M1, confronting Eliza Kassan. Primary objective, go to room 404. Malik thinks I'm reaching, but the information I learned in Tai Young Medical tells me that Eliza Kassan, the world's most famous newscaster, helped Zhao and her mercenaries kidnap Megan's team. I intend to prove it by reaching Kassan's office and confronting her. Now this is all well and good. There was something I wanted to do. Oh, I think I just wanted to talk briefly about Montreal itself. Montreal was originally supposed to be a third hub city. It was supposed to be as big as Hengshar, Detroit, but it got cut from that due to time, so instead you just get the huge, long Picus level. Now we have one little slow start, and then we have a long, drawn out, seem almost, if I remember from my first playthrough, seemingly never-ending ambush section. So we're gonna have to be careful, just work our way through everything. But with that said, here at the very beginning, there's nothing to worry about. So let me see what all I can find out here. Start off by hacking this level four device. All of my stealth upgrades have made hacking much smoother. Access granted. 300 credits, 100 XP. Now the gate's unlocked. We get 200 more XP for coming in here. Two beers, 100 credits, an ammo capacity upgrade, a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar, and a newspaper. Large weapons cache found after standoff. A storehouse of handguns and assault weapons was found in a Brisbane home after a two-day standoff with police. Authorities say eight pro-China rebels were taken into custody. The South Australian Federation was once again forced to bring in private contractors to help quell the unrest. Figures show sharp global rise in terrorism. The number of serious international terrorist incidents more than doubled last year, as reported by the United Nations Terrorism Task Force. According to their statistics, the number of significant attacks grew to 1,285, up from 582 in 2026. For proponents of private militias, these figures validate and support the increasing use of private contractors to help deal with terrorism, such as Bell Tower Associates, InterGarda, PLC, and Sharp Edge Inc., all of whom have greatly bolstered their global presence. Those opposed to the expanding role of these militias argue that the integration of private and public security forces is cost prohibitive and undermines the checks and balances needed for true democratic accountability. To address these concerns, the UN report proposes the formation of an international counterterrorism unit. And I think that's it in here. So let's just head through this door and keep on moving down. You can see the Picus area over there, so... 
check out this little side room first. There has to be something in here, else why would they put it here? <laughs> Maybe not, I guess. But how strange is that, honestly? Uh, I don't see anything, though. We'll just keep on heading down. Ebook. Uniting the world. What is the Picus Group? Picus is comprised of many marketing services and media companies. These include advertising agencies, public relations firms, media and entertainment studios, market research companies, communication satellite facilities, and web service providers. The Picus Group considers itself a parent entity, bringing together the right combination of capabilities to serve analytic and creative brand marketing needs. The world's largest telecommunications provider, the Picus Group, has more than 1,000 primary and branch offices operating in over 100 countries. It is our pride to state without fear of contradiction that there is nowhere on earth where Picus can't be found. Led by Eliza Kassan, our most respected journalist and the voice of our premier news channel, the Picus News Network, we work with nearly 1 million people worldwide. Picus' dedicated colleagues range from copywriters and bloggers to famous movie directors and top movie stars. And we will keep on moving. You can save yourself some hassle if you... If you, uh... <clears throat> poke around all these offices. Jensen, something's not right. Picus is a 24-hour global news network. Why isn't anyone answering their phones? I'll get back to you on that. Stand still. When a fully augmented unit from Bell Tower Associates moved in. As I was saying, you can save yourself some hassle if you fully explore this area before the ambush starts. Check the emergency activation logs, Pritchard. I've got a sealed fire door here, and I suspect it's not supposed to be. All the building's fire doors are locked down, but you should have a clear path to room 404. Nothing happens until we go to room 404, so... First things first. Let's hit the, hit the alarm panel here on the top level. Pretty straightforward. One hundred XP in the data store. Access granted. Seventy five for the hack. Disable the alarm. You'll be happy you did later. I think I'll do the same thing here on the lower level. Find the alarm first. Just to make sure it's off. There it is. Oh. Room 404 is down here anyway. <laughs> Looks like I can go straight for the server node here. That always makes things easy. Access granted. Nuke virus, 75 XP. Disable the panel. Alright, let's go. Let's bounce back to the top level now. Heliport and bureau offices are this way. Sources close to the fighting informed me that the situation had reached a bloody standstill when a full Bell Tower Associates moved in. All right, let's check this one. <gasps> Looks like everyone left in a hurry, Pritchard. The place is deserted. Because somebody triggered a fire alarm and then silenced it. I suggest you find Miss Kassan quickly and get out of there. In here we have an ebook. Synthetic thought to the human AI. Can a machine lie? 
The evolution of artificial intellects raises questions of a moral and ethical nature that affect humans in a way that no other technological development has before. If the search for AI is to create a mechanism that reasons and intuits in a fashion similar to, the human, to a human organism, then what is the scope of the morality of such an intelligence? As early as 2009, the Laboratory of Intelligent Systems in the École Polytechnique Fédérale of Lausanne, Swiss scientists developed an iterative experiment using robots with a 264-bit binary code genome that governed how they reacted to different stimuli. After 500 iterations, the LIS robots had learned to think around a task set for them, the gathering of a resource, to the point where they could lie to their fellows in order to hoard said resource for themselves. About Charles Darwin and the origin of species. 100 credits. Inside the desk drawer we find 40 more credits. You see the nice detail of the spilled coffee someone really did leave in a hurry. Anyway, let's check the unlocked computer. From Jack Mosher to WKS Sec 334B, coming in. Heads up, orders come from way up, code blue. The situation is critical and everyone must be evacuated. No details whatsoever. They're going to put the building in lockdown pretty soon. Get ready, Pikus head of security. From Liliane LKM to Frank Doyle, get out now. Don't have much time, get out now. I don't know what's up, but they're evacuating the building, Lily. From Bridget Tucker to MTL Picus All. Parking regulations. Hello all. Need I remind you that there are a lot of people working in this office and that we have parking regulations for a reason. Please be professional and use the parking spaces assigned to you. This is the last warning. Next time, culprits will see their vehicle towed. Thank you, Bridget. I just briefly. I got a lot of comments from a certain user who really didn't like the storyline because he thought that it only really explored one question, the transhumanist debate and whether or not it's fair for the rich to have access to technologies that the poor can't afford, and I guess he kinda has a point, but first of all, I think the storyline is more nuanced than that. It, it explores the fact that while the unfairness to the poor of letting it just go willy-nilly unregulated is explored. It also, I think, does a good job pointing out, you know, how crazy the no augmentation radicals and purity first are, and what happens if you do let someone regulate it, it invariably ends up being a battle for control of the technology amongst other rich and powerful parties, but for example, later on in this level, when we start exploring the effect of media spin on democracies and how the way reporters choose to frame stories, even when they report 100% accurate facts, can really change the way a story is perceived and the way the voting public behaves. That I found particularly fascinating, but I digress. Keeping it simple, Picus is one of my favorite levels just because of its exploration of the way media can affect voting in, dem in democracies and republics. That's all. Let's check this conference room. See, we got a pocket secretary here in the conference room. Regarding login codes from Picus IT Security Group to Philip Kane. No, please don't. We've got it from here. Thanks anyway. IT Security Group, Picus Communications. Philip Kane wrote, You guys asked for my passcodes? Here you go. Login, P. Kane, password, stacks. I can help people set up their codes in my department. I studied computer at night school. Phil. And the same newspaper we already read. So let's move on into this open office. TYM attacked by a lunatic. 
unknown identity of the intruder. I always wondered why uh, Jensen's exploits throughout the game went fairly unremarked upon. Apparently they don't. Another spilled coffee. Stun gun dart, 60 credits. Same newspaper over here. Can't even read that quasi-computer, so let's keep moving. There's the fire door. Then we pop out on the balcony. Let me just check all of the balcony areas before I start searching the desks and computers over there. At Picus Web. Vending machines. Always worth knowing where those are. The vent, which we'll of course explore, but not just yet. Alright. Nothing on these desks, but inside the drawer we find another 15 credits. Nothing on this desk, so let's move on. Looks like there's nothing here, so let's check this one. I see nothing here either. On that, this one, we've got 110 credits in the drawer. Over here, there's nothing. And right there, we have a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack. All right, you can see the two staircases down. That's pretty normal. Let's hit this vent, because I think it... I mean, we're going to end up using it in the ambush anyway, but I'm pretty sure there's an exploration bonus in here. There it is. Um, 100 XP. It spits me out inside an office. Or another office. I'll, get, I'll take this one since the door is standing open. So let's search this room. There's a stun gun on the desk. The computer is unlocked. From Rene Pause to M Mon MTL Picus All. Cafeteria Massacre. Okay, whoever started the experiment in Cafeteria Fridge Number 5. You know, the one about slowly turning what looks like a roasted beef stew or meal or whatever into a sentient creature that knows only the twin imperatives of suppressing all life and assaulting all senses. Could you please buy yourself semi-automatic military carbine and put an end to the abomination you've created? Seriously, whoever left that stuff in there, clean it up. It's fucking disgusting. Renzo. From Doug Harlocker to Robert Hall. About Panchea. Hello, Robert. Tom just sent me an email about the whole Panchea coverage idea we discussed last week. I think we just might have found a viable angle. I was like you at first and a bit uncertain, but I have to admit he's got me convinced. We can probably use this to favor Picus' official position, and the extra user clicks won't hurt with the sponsors. Everybody wins. Check back when you have the time, Doug. Over here, on the table, I see nothing. In these drawers, there are 40 credits. And I think that's it for this room. So let's head back out to the hallway. We can't... We can't turn off these TVs. There's room 404. So, I'm going to leave that for now, for obvious reasons. I will go ahead and check out room 403. On the table, there's just another redundant newspaper.
empty drawers. An obvious glitch. And an unlocked computer. From Thomas Minton to Doug Harlocker, Panchea. Hey Doug, about that discussion we had last week about our take on Panchea and the risks involved, I really think we should go forward and have a full cover story about the installation. This thing is huge, people want to know about it. Now I know you and Rob are afraid of the pro augmentation angle, but we don't necessarily have to cast it in that light. I have a friend here in Montreal, Judith Raynal. She's a well-known soci sociologist. She's the one who wrote the book 10,000 Euros. I believe you've read it, right? Anyway, her voice is recognized and respected, and she's ready to comment on this issue. She believes that the fact this whole installation was built by Augs and couldn't have built other been built otherwise is not only a tribute to the power of augmentation, it's also a very strong case for its intense regulation. The main idea being that Panchea is a clear example of how the power of augmentation could easily unbalance the present world order if left unchecked. She makes her point with a lot more eloquence than I do, of course. Anyway, I know the whole thing is a bit touchy with the chief editors and everything, but we have to start showcasing stories about the installation. We are getting lower ratings over this. Think about it. Thomas Minton, Project Manager, Picus Webb. From Mary Gops to MTL Picus Webb, Web Awards. Hey guys, just to let you know that two of our new sites, Covenant Playground and SciCon 11, have both been nominated for Web 3.0 awards in the following categories. Most Original Gaming Forum, Best Web Comic, Best Web Webisode for Tony's Back in Post Nuclear at USSR, and Best Visual Design. Congratulations to everyone. Mary Gops, Division Supervisor, Picus Webb. Well, that's awesome. Here's room 402. So obviously, we already know now that Picus, 10 credits in those drawers, favors the regulation of augmentation and tailors its coverage to favor that position whenever possible. On this desk, we have a bottle of wine and an un another unlocked computer. From Simon Seguin to Jennifer Peacock, Eliza wardrobe issue. Hey Jenny, MDM wants Eliza to wear a blazer for, from their new fall collection. Do you happen to have her measurements? I'd make a guess, but I've never seen her in person. No worries if you don't know them. I'll ask Sanjeev. Simon Seguin, Picus Marketing. From Morgan Everett, another name you might recognize from the first game, to MTL Picus All, status report. Hello everyone. Another semester gone, and again we greet a new one, a very important one for Picus, as it will see the launch of two new website projects that will let us better compete in the respective fields of search engines and social networking. Our media and entertainment division, along with telecom and advertising, all show a significant increase in both popularity and revenues. All the while we are expanding, again, our networking power with yet another communication satellite facility in northern France. So to keep things simple, if a bit cliche, I'll go with keep up the good work. I, for one, am a proud member of your team. Morgan Everett, CEO, Picus, Montreal Branch. Now well, that still can't interact with the TV and it looks like there's nothing on the table. Well, let's head back out to the... I think the hallway is about to curve us back into the... Now there's the other possible exit from the vents, and here there's finally a 40 credits and a tranquilizer dart in the desk drawer. Charles Bragg thanked Bell Tower for its assistance, 
declaring that this war against separatism should soon be over. Given that Bell Tower Associates has been contracted to send in even more augmented troops, he may very well be right. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pikus. Hey, more tranquilizer darts over behind this thing. I'm sorry, there was something about Mormons on there. I just want to see if it turns out Lazarus was right. You remember when he talked about the next thing we'd hear about was a terrorist strike. Growing separatist movement rattles Northwest US Mormon leaders speak out. Okay. Not exactly. No bomb strapped to anyone's temple undergarments. Another newspaper. Same deal. Finally, let's hit this. Hey, locked computer. Security rating 1. D. Gassner. Access granted. The data store had a stopworm, 25 XP for the hack. From Jack Mosher to MTL Picus, all security protocols. Hello, all. Just a simple reminder regarding security and emergency protocols. In the event of an emergency, the various security doors located around the Picus complex will activate based on current sec Excuse me. Based on current security patterns, these doors are of course meant to increase security around the complex. Alternative routes and evacuation measures are a crucial part of everyone's safety. Please make sure to revise section 5.1 to 7.3 of the employee's manual on a regular basis. I'm sure by revise they meant review, but... Jack Mosher, Picus Head of Security. From MTL Picus Social Club to MTL Picus All, Employee Day. Hi everyone. As you all know, next month is time for our biannual Employee Day. All of you are cordially invited to the Fun Dome on St. Hubert for a variety of activities such as VR Wars, Virtual Bowling, Arcade Machines, and of course an Alley Combatants 7 tournament. Alley Combatants Street Fighter. Organized by none other than your IT department. We will also rent the pub upstairs for those who prefer a more relaxed atmosphere and, well, booze. Free booze, that is. Please confirm your presence before next Friday, your social club delegates. Alright. Now let's head back out here. Check everything out. Nothing on this particular desk. I think I'll clear the room this way. Another sealed fire door. Not really anything here. This desk, we've got a drawer with two stun gun darts and five credits in it. Nothing there. I'll leave the main central desk area for later. For now, let's check all these drawers. We've got 40 credits. 40 credits and an ebook. Uniting the world. What is the Picus Group? We've read that already. And we got cardboard boxes. More drawers. That one's empty. That one's got 35 credits in it. That one's got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar in it. That one's got 10 credits in it. Here's a pocket secretary. Get rid of these new tags, I guess. Computer passcodes from Douglas Airlocker to Morris Kyle. Morris, here are the passcodes for some of the employee terminals you requested. J.F. Kenny, J. Kenny, Mont Royal, Todd Jackson, T. Jackson, Stinger, Frank Doyle, F. Doyle, Raven. I'll send you the rest in about an hour. Doug Airlocker, IT Security Analyst, Picus Communications. Table out, nothing, nothing on this desk. But we do have another drawer to search here with 30 credits in it. Back here we've got one tranquilizer dart. 
and that's it without hitting the... Oh, not quite. That drawer is empty. Now that is it before going to the central area. So, let's check over here. We've got 40 credits there. Nothing there. I already checked these, so let's move this way. That drawer is empty. This desk, the drawer has one stun gun dart. That looks like about it. Over here we've got... Well, Jensen can't open that drawer, but got 75 credits in that one. As you can see, the 10,000 extra credits from the DLC quickly became obsolete. We got a nuke virus. Picus Web Lobby. Another security door. Over here, looks like we just have vending machines and chairs. Now let's go to the central area. Let's start here. This drawer, we got 40 credits. Nothing here. And nothing here. Move to the next one. This drawer, we have nothing. This computer has a level 3 lock on it, so let's hack it open. This is PKane, password stacks, but we'll hack it, naturally. Alright, well there's really only one way to go. Particularly if I do, in fact, want both data stores. No problem. Stop worm, nuke virus, 75 XP. From Jesse McDougal to Philip Kane, forum comment to delete. Hey Phil, can you delete that comment about the Cyber Olympic chick that refers to her as an ogged up floozy, not cool man? Jesse, Picus Public Relations. From Nancy Nashall to MTL Picus Web, approved vocabulary. Hello all. Just a simple reminder to always go through the lexicon of approved terms and vocabulary. Check the wiki. HPPT colon slash slash MTL wiki slash web slash design slash approval slash lexicon dot question mark ORIGURL equals percent two FT wiki percent three FBIN percent five F view percent two FHG three before you submit anything on the official servers or post anything on the forums. Thank you, Nancy. Again, I would like a French speaker to translate this. C'est à le mystère de l'argumentation. On doit consacrer tout sa fougue, son énergie, sa créativité, pour convaincre et en même temps dire à l'autre qu'il est libre d'adhérer à l'opinion qu'on lui propose. Philippe Breton. I'm sure my pronunciation is not only just bad, but wrong, but, uh, anyway, any French speakers who want to help me and the other viewers out and translate that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. I mean, I think I get the general idea. It's about using language and argument to form opinions, but I'd like the specific translation if anyone can give it to me. 25 credits in that drawer, nothing else. So, we'll move on to the next one. Nothing in the drawer, and an unlocked computer. From Lionel Tangay to MTL Picus Web, we need another French translation. Ma chaise, a peu importe qui a pris ma chaise, on a day chez Faté Express pour les mini meetings, SVP me ramene la mienne et ne plus la, la reprendre. A chaque fois les settings sont déréglés et je dois passer 30 minutes à t'adresser comme du monde. Merci, Lionel. I think it's something about a chair, but I don't really know. From Oren Baum to Andrew Cavallero, pop proper phrasing. Just wanted to give you a small tip. 
In your script for the piece about Taggart, you referred to him as anti-augmentation activist Bill Taggart. Try to avoid using that term. Pro-human has less of a negative con connotation. Thanks, Oren Baum, editor, Picus Webb. From Rob Francis to Andrew Caballero. Nice one. Hey, Andrew. Great job on the riot text. Love the part about Seraph being like Nero playing his electric fiddle as Detroit burned. Good shit. Want to hit up a ball game tonight? Strasbourg is pitching, so Sposs got this one. You in? Rob Francis, Picus Webb. So Sposs got this one, I mean. I think that's about the Montreal Expos, but I'm not sure. This drawer is empty. Let's check the outer ones now. Just another drawer to search for another 40 credits. And we got one more row of desks to check out. Well, two actually. Another 40 credits there. Nothing there. Which is all well and good. Nothing at this desk. In here. I see nothing, but the drawer has 20 credits in it. Let's hop over here. This drawer has 50 credits in it. Nothing, nothing. But here we have a level 4 locked computer. This is J. Kenny, password Montroyal, but we'll hack it, naturally. Oh, I can go straight for the server node. So much for level 4. Access granted. 300 credits, 100 XP. From Lyle Tange to MTL Pikes Web, ma chaise. A peu importe qui a pris ma chaise, on a des chaises fatées esprit pour les mini-meetings, SVP me ramené la mienne et ne plus la reprendre. A chaque fois la setting son délégrés et des joies passées 30 minutes à ta recette comme du monde. Merci, Lionel. From David Bernstein to J.F. Kenny. That was another copy of the same email. We have rules for a reason. Listen, J.F., we have these reviews for a reason. Liberty of the press or freedom of expression have absolutely nothing to do with this. You are a very good columnist. Funny, witty, a bit disturbing, but that's part of your style. This is not a commission to sanction your right to speak your mind, for God's sake. It's an editing review. It's standard procedure, and you know it. Now... One of Picus's main responsibilities comes from the notion that everything we do can have effects on the mind and emotions of the public. With this comes power, but with this power comes responsibility. Now, it's all very cliche, I know, but it's still true. You can't go around spurting insanities just for the sake of it. You can call it an agenda if you want to, but I prefer to think of it as a responsible approach to entertainment journalism. Anyhow, we're still up for a session of Universe of Shadows on Saturday. Dave. Sorry, folks, just taking care of something right quick. Alright, back to it. That drawer is empty. Nothing on this desk, so let's just hop over and check out the other side. Over here, nothing on the desks, but we do have an unlocked computer. From Oliver Messier to Perry Papadakos, Bell Tower link down. The page with the article rebuking the accusations against Bell Tower's activity in Australia is down. Better get it back up ASAP. Oliver Messier, Tech Team, Picus Webb. Inside the drawer, lo and behold, a Praxis Kit. So I'm gonna use that to boost Hacking Fortify up to two. Yeah, I've pretty much already got everything I actually want. Now we're just choosing where to fill in gaps. So, I'll search the last desk. Got another unlocked computer here. From Louis Julien Poitras to MTL Picus Web, Modernization 9. Sup, dudes? Who wants to start a new Modernization 9 campaign? Worlds. Obviously, that's, you know, a riff on civilization. World size, humongous. Nations, 12. Forced alliances, on. Length, long. 2300 turns. Anyone interested, just ping me back. LJ. 
P.S. Shotgun on the Germans. Gimme them Panzer tanks. From Sean Gibbons to Adrian Kelman. Important Comet Story Edit. A.K. Just reminding you about my note on that Comet Story you're uploading today. Please make sure to remove the frame where you can see the VersaLife space station in that sky shot. The big boys will blast us if we leave that in. Guaranteed. Sean Gibbons, Picus Webb. VersaLife has a space station. That's interesting, and I actually think that might be tied to the Illuminati space station that we see in their ending in Invisible War, Ophelia. But that's just speculation on my part. In this drawer, we find 80 credits, and we've done all we can do without heading to room 404 and triggering the ambush. So let's make a new perma save just before I trigger the ambush. I'm going to have to deal with 11 bad guys once the ambush triggers, but before I do that, we can watch a cutscene. Hello, Adam. Zal tell you I was coming, Miss Kassan? Please, call me Eliza. Zal Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later. I find my realization... disturbing. I wish we could discuss this further, but it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. Jensen, get out of there now! Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. 250 XP, getting things done. Later! Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap! We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. Escape the ambush by reaching a lower floor. Eliza set me up, speaking to me via hologram while mercenaries converged on room 404. Pritchard's going to pinpoint her real location, but in the meantime, I need to flee to a safer floor downstairs. Okay, I'll make a new perma save now. It's because I don't want to have to watch the cutscene again if I do need to start this ambush over. We do have a ghost and smooth operator bonus tied to this. We have an unlocked security hub, which is strange, but turn off the cameras. That can only help me, I think. Right. <clears throat> so we can use the vent to get to the upper levels, which is actually a really good idea. Let's just do that. That way we can tackle the top level first without worrying about the lower level guys. I really want to get over there. I wanted to get those two while they were conversing cuz I imagine it will be quite a bit harder once they're done. clear. But he couldn't have gotten far. Don't be too sure. This guy's good. Well, if he's in here somewhere, he must be scared. I'm sure he didn't expect to see this much firepower. Yeah. Just let me catch that little snake. Quickly realize he's playing with the big boys now. More than uh, 
want to drag them into the vents before that patroller turns around. Too slow, too slow. 404 is clear, but he couldn't have gotten far. Don't be too sure. This guy's good. Well, if he's in here somewhere, he must be scared. I'm sure he didn't expect to see this much firepower. Yeah, just let me catch that little snake. He'll quickly realize he's playing with the big boys now. Or the big girl. <laughs> All right, let's not use the vent. Try pulling him, pulling him behind these desks instead. See if that'll suffice. I think it should. Assuming that works, and I'm gonna wait a full patrol cycle before I quick save, just to be try and be sure of that. That will leave nine soldiers. Well, now I can probably pull them into the vents anyway. Not visual. Oh. Except I backed off too soon. Inside vents is a great place to stash bodies, FYI. Wait for that guy to turn around again. I see one other upstairs patroller. Should be a fairly simple proposition to pull the two of them together. All right, good. There's our first double takedown. So let's search these two now. Ten combat rifle bullets, 25 credits. Now, once he turns around, yeah, they're on opposite balconies. Dang it. I was gonna say, if I do want to pull them together, some kind of noise over to the side is probably my best option. Now I'm just getting in too big a rush. I need to slow down, settle down, be patient. That's not going to work out. <clears throat> not in the hiding spot I picked, anyway. Although the throw might actually work pretty well. I heard something. I'm going to check on it.
One of our guys is there. I think he's alive. Check condition, then we'll search the area. Nearing Okay, okay. Well, for some reason, they saw the bodies I stashed in the vents. Here, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna handle this the same way I handled Alice Gardens, which is to say, I'm just gonna cloak, get out of here. and see if my ghost bonus is intact. Footsteps. Who's there? No saving, that should be obvious. Not until we get through everything. Richard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow processing cloud more sophisticated than Smooth anything. Smooth operator, I've ever seen. no ghost. Somehow they're seeing those bodies. <laughs> All right, well, let's load up the permasave then. It's like they can see them through vent walls, I guess. Now well, let's turn off the cameras. And start over. We're demanding that the South Australian government like the oil reserves. I still feel like it's much smarter to start with the top level. Although I went too far and those guys almost definitely spotted me through the window there. Let's try this again. This is the way to go. This time, I think I'll just leave them behind the desk and see if that works. We know someone's here. Keep looking. Did you hear footsteps? Did you hear someone jumping around over there? See if I can take these guys down too. That'd be What's awesome. Going on? Dang it. I get excited every time they're right next to each other. But that seems foolish. Let's hit this. Cloak up, make some noise, pull them together, all that jazz. Did you hear footsteps? someone jumping around over there? Go see what's going on. Did you hear footsteps? Dang it, last time they got right next to each other. Which convinces me it's at least possible to get them to do that. Alright. Footsteps. Who's there? Someone jumping around over there? 
go see what's going on. We know someone's here. Keep looking. Alright, let's see if that did the trick. Eight combat rifle bullets. Let's go ahead and search these two bodies. There's the ten combat rifle bullets, which means this is the 25 credit guy. This guy has nothing. And I guess the first thing to do now is see if Ghost and Smooth Operator are still intact. So that's what I'm gonna do. Did you hear footsteps? No, he's here somewhere. Did you hear footsteps? Five guys down here. Footsteps. Plus Who's one there? here. Or two in here. I think that's it. And we'll check all that out in a bit, but for now, I just want to see. Richard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow processing cloud. It's not giving me ghost. The big question is why not? If I go straight out, do I get ghost? Let's figure that out, I guess, before we do anything else. Maybe if I'm actually a little bit sneakier, I can get it. Let's just eat nutrients. Make sure I crawl out of here without being heard. Let's see if I can get the freaking ghost bonus that way. You, get on the upper cat walk and take a sniper position. He's probably crawling around here somewhere. Let's get you some better side line. Yes, sir. You, I want you to secure that dick over here. Right away. I'll find you, you little shit! Uh-huh. Sure you will. Let's just get through here undetected and see if that gives me my friggin' ghost bonus. Richard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow pro- Yep, there it is. Well, I have to be honest, I don't know what is stopping me from getting it, but... One thing is obvious, and that is that... I have to be more careful. So let's turn off the cameras, start a new quick save, and... Just try again. That's the bottom line. I got nine guys to take care of in here. That's four double takedowns I need to manage without getting spotted.
You know what might be easier? It's if I try to get the ghost bonus and then come back. Just thinking about how to do this. It's still pretty obvious to me that we want to clear the upper level first. Because guys up there will see me when I'm downstairs. But the reverse of that isn't true. They just. Poor old Ward. You couldn't have gone far. Don't be too sure. This guy's got it. Well, if he's in here somewhere, he must be scared. I'm. I guess the truth I have to come to grips with is that the vents are actually not a great place to hide bodies. Alright, let me really stealth my way out of here and see if that worked or not. Let's see if that works. Pritchard, have you found Eliza Kazan yet? Possibly. I think it Back does. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow processing clock. Yes, a ghost. Good. So stashing these two guys behind the desk works. me that's worth a new perma save so let's do that let's try and find a way to pull the sniper over here well he's not really a sniper he just has a combat rifle 
But his superior told him to take a sniper position, so... Maybe if I go over here, he can spot me. Did I pick up my 25 credits? That I don't remember. Yes, I did. That's pulling new guys upstairs. I don't want to do that. Okay. Thinking there's got to be a footsteps. Yeah, how's it on your side? There's got to be a way to do this. Mm -hmm. 
I heard something. I'm gonna check on it. Yeah, that's not going to work. <sighs> Maybe I should clear some downstairs guys first. Then I can use a gunshot or something to pull these guys, pull all these guys together. I don't know. Did you hear someone jumping over there? Hey, stop! Oh, Keep him! Oh, dang it. This is just a big bother. You hear someone jumping around over there? I'll find you, you little shit. I've got a possible visual. Ah, oh, <sighs> just getting too excited. What I probably need to do is climb back into the vent and head down there. Now that those two are down, there are seven guys left in this main area. Someone's here. Keep looking. Looks to me like the two over here patrol close enough together that I should be able to grab both of them, maybe drag them into that hallway without any distractions, bells and whistles, anything. I'll find you, you little shit. Let me just see if that's accurate. Did you hear footsteps? Not quite, but it looks close, doesn't it? Like maybe a jump could do the trick.
I've got a few oh, more. Yeah, they were close enough together just then. Let's give myself at least one bar of cloak so I can get up to them. Five guys left. Let's see, we got 45 credits, 10 machine pistol bullets, and I spotted a pocket secretary I had missed. My passwords from Frank Hogland to Frank Hogland. So, oh, that's new. Server room door code 8825, Pikus mail password, pulse 96. Bank account 1325876633899222 password pulse96 Fantasy Hockey Leaf Suck 67 All right Time to see if that works out or not Ghost-wise, I mean, of course. Pop down here, see if we've still got ghost. I'll be so happy if we do. Solid walls do seem to work much better than, uh... Pritchard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? I think Possibly. that worked. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow process. Yes. Good. So I can do another new perma save with those two down. That leaves five guys to go. All right. Let's keep studying the five that are in here. Got two on the lower upper level that are pretty far apart, and three down here on the lower level. I've got a possible visual. Oh, you do, do you? I do not have a confirmation yet. You go down. Gotta be more careful. Like those two patrol close enough together for a double takedown as well. We know someone's here. Keep looking. <sighs> uh, as soon as the middle guy's gone, I'm gonna sneak over to that corner and handle both of them.
I think they're, well, I thought they were about to come together. I was gonna get my cloak ready to handle them. And that might not be happening just, oh, yeah, here they come. Let's see if this works. Well, I had a shot, but the middle guy's heading this way. I need them together, and hi and I need him walking away for this to work properly, so. Go, Someone's go, here! Double Oops. top! Not gonna work. If I cloak right away and head over. You hear footsteps? Might just be able to do it. No, I don't have time. What's irritating is that that was obviously the perfect time to do it, but... EMP grenade, 100 credits. Nothing. Now the first order of business is to make sure I still have Ghost. That's easier now, with only three guys left in there. Let's just cloak up right quick. And... Get by these guys. going. Pritchard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Looks like Possibly. we got it. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow... Yes. Good. Ghost is still intact. So I'll do another new permasave. Then I will try and figure out how to deal with these three guys. Now I think the easiest thing for me to do is going to be to pull the de last downstairs guy up to one of the balconies. Or maybe just do a single takedown and then on somebody and then toss the vending machine to pull everyone else together. Let's bag this guy with a single. And someone's gonna have to go down with a single anyway. Hide him 
behind the desk with his buddies. And let's see if he's carrying anything good. Doesn't look like it. That's all well and good. Now I guess with him down, I should, again, see if Ghost is intact. Assuming we still have Ghost, since there are now only two guys. Richard, have you found Eliza Kazan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a holo processing cloud. Yep. Still have Ghost. So let's make one more perma save. Finally, I can do something extreme to bring the pull the last two together. Like, pick an ambush point, fire a gunshot off, or something like that. Well, that didn't work out quite like I imagined. Let's sneak upstairs. Is someone hiding over there? Take him, hey! come all the way downstairs and check because that would be awesome. This is close, this is close. We've almost got it, I think. Did you hear someone jumping around over there? Nearing source of disturbance. Oh, he saw the bodies. Crud. Can't have that. Looks like he's going to see the bodies. If I let his alert stand as is. I didn't think about it, but they obviously are visible from up there. Let's pull them over here instead.
Alright. Let me do something a little more direct. I think. Let's just pick up one of these combat rifles. Let's pick a good ambush point. Like here. Let's see if we can't convince these boys to come on over. Then, of course, I forgot about the guys in between me and the exit. I need to go somewhere where I won't pull them in. Let's try here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, alright, alright. This isn't that complicated. Maybe I should pull the. Tr Maybe I should get back upstairs. Pull the trigger there. The, the other guys are com still coming in. Something suspicious. Stay on patrol. <clears throat> and I can't seem... What I can't seem to do... Is pull them off their levels. With anything other than a visual. So let's try and give them a visual, I guess. Drop this for now. Because it, he should now come all the way downstairs right into the other guy's patrol path. Finally setting up that double takedown. I'm hoping. That's what happens anyway. Looks like it's happening. Just great news. I do not have a confirmation yet. Yeah, they're they're heading right for each other. Perfect. Hostile in the area. 
There we got a double takedown. The room is now clear. Eight combat rifle bullets, a stop worm, six shotgun cartridges. Now, for the last time, let's see if Ghost is still intact. Oh, come on, Jensen. I guess that really wasn't Jensen's fault. That was my fault. It'd be better to say, come on, Travis. Pay attention. Let's wait for Chuckles to turn around. Cause we're we're headed over here. What steps? Who's there? We're headed over here next anyway. So let's roll through here. See if things are still to my liking. Richard, have you found Eliza Cassandra? I think so. Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow. Excellent. Excellent. Ghost and smooth operator. So now we just have the two guys in that last exit room. Which is. Now I think I can lose that. Well, let's create that one and then let's lose the second save because now that the big newsroom is clear I'm feeling much more confident and I don't like to keep two permanent saves I just don't I think those two get pretty close together without any encouragement from me although I'm Still certain I'll need to need at least one bar of cloak. There's someone jumping around over there. Let's get another one. And another one. Someone jumping around over there. And one more. Ah! And I think all is well. He's got four shotgun cartridges. He's got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Jar and 17 machine pistol bullets. I can see if Ghost is still intact. Those are my last enemies, assuming that Ghost stayed put. Richard, have you found Eliza Cassan yet? Pretty sure it did. Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a holo processing. Excellent. Ghost and smooth operator. Very good. Now we got a little exploring to do after I make a new permanent save. Well, not permanent. That's just as technically wrong as misle as my old standby real save is. All right, we got bathrooms, we got a vent. The Picus TV lobby. I'm going to treat as a separate section. Once I fully clear the web newsroom, I'm going to call it a video. But that's the same newspaper we've seen elsewhere in here. So is that one. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, this takes us back upstairs. The other security door, the one over here, 
the server room. That's where we haven't been yet. Let's check that out. Level 4 lock. We have the code, but we'll hack it, naturally. Pretty straightforward, really. Access granted. 200 XP in the data store, plus 100 XP for the hack. And here we are in the server room. 300 XP exploration bonus for coming in here. Now... <clears throat> There's a breakable wall in here. Computer. We've got a stopworm, a nuke virus on the desk. Computer is unlocked. We got painkillers on the desk, too. From Red Fisherman to Todd Jackson, finally caved. Are you writing the article on Strasbourg's retirement? What do you think? First ballot HOF? <laughs> Means Hall of Fame. By the way, I'm starting a weekly column devoted to the Enhanced Hockey League. I'm finally caving. Still think it's far too violent and that someone's gonna die one day because of the speed they play at, but there's no doubt about how exciting it is. Plus, it's the fastest rising sport out there and the bosses haven't stopped putting the pressure on me for six months now. Still not touching AUG combat, though. Red. From Jimmy Salty to Todd Jackson, you're a fucktard. You have to seriously be the shittiest sports columnist in the country. I can't believe you approve of this trade. It's the worst move this team has made since they gave up on Kerry in 2012. I hope you choke on your sandwich at lunch today. Your number one fan, Jimmy. <clears throat> Interesting. So let's punch through this broken er, breakable wall. Another 300 XP in here. Now, important, you want to come down here because you spawn two more guys in the TV newsroom when you climb down the ladder. There they are. Now that they have appeared, we'll automatically kill one of them if we break that wall, so I don't want to break it. But I do want to come down next to it just to make sure they spawn so I can get another double takedown later. So we're set for now. So let's just keep exploring. Just got a couple little rooms left to check out now. That guy's below me, right? He has to be. Yeah. He's, he's in the TV newsroom lobby. So the women's room, I think, is going to be empty. Oh, nope, it's got the... Well, I can't seem to open that then. Let's check the men's room. Looking to the future, Seraph Industries. Polyphonia, online music store, yeah, yeah. Bunch of ads. Wait a minute. In here, we have a rate of fire weapon mod, which I think I can put on my pistol. That leaves just one damage output mod, and then I will finally have my pistol fully upgraded. Nothing in the bathroom, but if we pop open the vent and crawl through it, we get a 100 XP exploration bonus. That's always nice. Here in the elevator lobby, there's another alarm panel, which we will, of course, hack. Level three. Interesting. We'll go this direction. 
Since that node dropped to level one, then I'll just capture both server nodes. Access granted. 200 XP in the data store, 75 for the hack. That gives me a new Praxis. Let's disable the alarm and let's get Fortify 3. Well, what next? Good question. I guess next, since there's a boss fight coming up, I'll finish Dermal Armor. I'll get damage reduction 3 with my next Praxis. Finally, I don't actually want to take that exit. Let's take this one. Pritchard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a holo processing cloud more sophisticated than anything I've ever seen. So we just got a 2400 point getting things done for escaping the ambush, plus 500 for Ghost, plus 250 for Smooth Operator. It was sent from an area of the complex that wasn't showing up on the 3D layout. You found a secret lair. A sub-basement level that somebody spent an awful lot of time trying to conceal. It's connected to the tower by a funicular. Look for a staircase in the back of the TV newsroom and you'll reach it. Get to the funicular. But I'll cover that next time because with the web TV, with the web lobby covered and the initial ambush successfully escaped, the ghost bonus secure, I'm going to call it a video. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. I will see you guys next time for the Picus TV newsroom. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.